The home heating oil cleanup continues into a second day following mm. the crash of a tanker. Meantime, the search continues for the driver accused of causing the wreck. News 8's Tina Detail on the scene in Groton with the latest developments. By late Wednesday night, traffic was moving once again here on I-95, but the work of the DEEP continued well into today, trying to clean up this mess. The Wednesday afternoon accident shut down I-95 for several hours and dumped 1,200 gallons of home heating oil from the overturned tanker truck, a mess which soon became the concern of DEEP crews, which worked through the night and into Thursday, recovering 2,700 gallons of an oil-water mixture and 320 tons of oil-soaked soil. The mess was caused after witnesses say a car cut off the tanker truck, causing it to hit two other cars and roll over. All three drivers were injured. State police are now trying to track down the driver of that car. In the meantime, the cleanup continues. Test wells have been dug and show the oil has traveled into the groundwater. And we're in the process of recovering the oil that is floating on top of the groundwater. And our biggest concern at this point is the fact that there's ledge in the immediate area. And if there's any contamination that has the ability to get into the fractures of the ledge, then our concerns would be the uh, drink area drinking wells. Uh, we will be surveying the um, houses on Flanders Road and uh, Stanton Farm Road. The DEEP doesn't expect contamination to reach nearby homes for a while, but if it does, then filters would have to be put on those private wells. On the scene in Groton, Tina Detell, News 8.